we are back. And we're not taking on this, this mission here. Now, as I recall, we need to kind of make a uh, quick, quick skedaddle away from the dock because they're, they're going to want to, going to want to poke their noses in and see why exactly uh, our fleet uh, it just bought a pirate mule. However, this pirate mule is actually going to be going up into our kind of combat freighter slot. Let's move you over there. We're going to need a name for this because that's, we're actually going to fit this out right now. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get a name in chat right now. Uh, let's see. What are we going to use for this one? Let's go with hashtag. Hmm. There you go. Hashtag hmm in chat right now. We'll make you eligible for a name in the game. You don't need to worry about the cost of this one either because some kind dapplings have already prepaid. We've got four names already prepaid. I usually really enjoy deep games. Maybe I should just persevere. I love watching Star Sector, but when trying to play it, I find it impenetrable. Is it just a matter of failing a lot until you get it? A kind of a little bit. I do know what you mean. I, I've, I've definitely... When I first started playing Star Sector, a long while ago now, uh, there, there was... They felt like a pretty steep learning curve. Okay, we're going to roll it. Let's find out. Nightbot has decided that... Rizal shall be named. Hooray. Isn't prepared has paid for this name. Looking dapper. Oh, KP Warrior, Diochen Valdermate. Thank you so much for those five gift subs. Streamer luck. Streamer luck. Rigged, probably. There we go. <laughs> Rizal is our mule. <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> Man. Uh, right. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to pop. Uh, we want... Uh, I'm actually a big proponent for Vulcan cannons. I'm going to be honest. I just like Vulcan cannons. Vulcan cannons. Uh, the... Um, missile hard points... I could roll with two salamanders because actually having salamanders to slow down the people chasing you because it, it is while it is an attack it, it, it's a combat freighter i'm almost never going to use it in a combat role so i think rolling with salamanders makes more sense than anything else. And the medium turret, I, I just don't know really here. Um, I can go with a flak cannon because it, it's just shoot down problems, basically. Flak cannon there would be fine. I think. I, I don't really have much else that I could roll with. I mean, I could buy a dual flak cannon if I really wanted to, but I don't really think that's wise. No, I think just a flat cannon is fine. Uh, I shall lurk and pass out. Thank you for providing a welcome distraction tonight, Avak. You're more than welcome, Hammer. You're more than welcome, mate. Have a good one. Now, with that done, let's have a look at you. First and foremost, I would like... Uh, let's see. Military... Well, I mean, we could go with military subs... No, we can't. Uh... That can only go on civilian hands. Where's the other one that I really liked? Uh, efficiency overhaul. There we are. Reduces the supplies used for maintenance, fuel use, and minimum crew requirements by 20%. So max uh, minimum crew, 40. That's not bad. Dropping that by almost a quarter. Uh... Fuel use per light. Yeah, I'll drop quite nice. Yeah, you know what? I think this is actually a pretty, pretty solid way to go. Hail Mangled Pork and Derpy, uh, Derp Digital as well. Derpy Digital. 
Derpy Digital, who has recently informed me in DMs that they would actually like their name changed to Derpy Digital instead of Derp Digital uh, for reasons that only they know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Tell Bentham he should play Star Sector. Bentham, you should play Star Sector. You absolutely must. Thank you very much, Bilal. And if we could get a shout out for Derp Digital, whose name is tragically typoed, because it should be Derpy Digital. Thank you very much. Carry Command, how is Carry Command right now? I, uh, haven't they recently brought out uh, an update? Also, 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 on the topic of Carrier Command, have you been, uh, have you been lulled by the siren call of uh, Nebula Fleet Command? This isn't Horizon, I know, right? I need to give people more chance to get ahead of me so that they can actually watch the streams. Uh, but we're going to pop in an efficiency overhaul. Increase the combat readiness, recovery, and repair rates by 50%. Uh, the, I, that's not as much of a, a thing for us, but getting this in there to uh, drop the maintenance supplies, fuel use, and further the skeleton crew requirement is actually really nice. Nebulous Fleet Command looks amazing. We can deploy our own boats now. They're kind of painfully expensive and a little squishy, though. <laughs> that is a that is a, a shame. Uh, obviously, on this we want expanded cargo holds. There we are. Let's get you going, and let's actually have a look. How much is it going to expand it? Cargo capacity is two hundred and fifty. It is now a three two five plus seventy five. Nice. The tales that I've heard of Nebula, uh, Nebula's Fleet Command, is that it is the Expanse, the game, which is a very, very compelling, a generous very compelling uh, claim. Also, someone did a thing. Derpy Digital must change their, their avatar to a, a blonde maned grey Pegasus. It is a requirement of the name change. Uh, there you go. Sir Alasol has spoken, Derpy Digital. A name change and an avatar change. What is the expanse? It is... Oh. Uh, it is uh, the name of a very, very good series of books. Also uh, recently um, turned into a... Uh, a series on Netflix and uh, Amazon, and also the uh, a, a, an accurate descriptor for the depth of Wombat's generosity. That is 200 gift subs you have given out on tonight's stream, Wombat. Dear Lord, man. I know I said I wasn't going to bring this up again because the last stream you did this, you assured me after I, like, nagged you for the 8,000th time. They... Financially, this was not an issue for you, and you just wanted to give back to the community. But again, please do be certain that you are not giving more than you can afford to. You have been stupendously, prodigiously generous already. <laughs> My lord. My lord. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much, mate. But please, please, do take care of yourself before taking care of anyone else. <laughs> I've flown too often, apparently. Make sure you put your mask on before you try to put anyone else's on. That is absolutely bonkers. Thank you so, so much, mate. You have no idea how much that support means to me, but... Uh, it also means an awful lot to me to know that, that uh, my viewers are not experiencing financial difficulty. <laughs> Looking like Larry. Thanks for the, the sub. Now, back to Elden Ring. I know, right? The urge for that was quite keen. That would be another game that is like, ah, but I don't want to watch it because I haven't played it myself. And it's like, ah, there's too many great games coming out right now. <sighs> Thank you so, so much, mate. The Alchemfaudian. Right, uh, so we've got officially overall expanded cargo holds. Uh, I don't really care about this, 
but let's pop a couple of them on. Again, I don't actually expect to have this in a fight. I could put heavy armor on, I could put reinforced bulkheads. Um, unstable injector might be nice. Top speed in combat would be nice to increase. Or auxiliary thrusters. Uh, let's go with unstable injector. And then beyond that, I don't believe I can add any more. Yeah, I can't add any more. Um, uh, what are these calls? Uh, where are they? Like civilian equipment. Uh, logistics. There we are. Um. Yeah, there's nothing else that I, I really want this to have, frankly. I think those are the two main ones to pop in there. So I guess the rest is just filling it out. Yeah, sure. We'll just leave that there. Uh, it's one though I had to troubleshoot for three hours to get it working on my uh, significant other's PC. That's that's always the best time, isn't it? You you buy a new game, you're like yes, and then it's like oh, it won't work. Why? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to apologize for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, go back. I think that's about as well built as we're gonna do it. Happy with this. Rizal shall be from henceforth a. Hmm, what should we call this design? Uh, can I can I rename it to something? Apparently, it's simply called the the castle. Actually, oh yeah, that's right. We need to change it. So, um, so efficient. Yeah. Efficient combat freighter. There we go. I think that's all done. Yep. Okay. So that's perfect. Now then. Which other ships do we want? I don't think we actually do want any of the other ships currently set up. I want to wait for them to be a little bit more repaired. This one is a possibility, though. Malfunctioning comms, though. Sure. I could set this one up, give it a fighter schematic. Hey, you know what? We'll do that at Umbra because there I can properly equip it. All right, let's repair my ships and quickly hop in here, make sure everything is set up. All right, I think we are ready to go. We're going to make a burn immediately out of here. I'm probably going to emergency burn. We'll see how this works, shall we? And go. Chomp. Don't want any trouble. Okay, can we uh, salvage this area? No. That's fine. Okay, well, we got out without having to be scanned, which means that we also got out without having to deal with any... Uh, any loss of reputation, which I'm very happy about. Uh, where are we going then? Is the next question. Intel missions, we've got a couple now. That one is stupidly far away, uh, so we're not going to be doing that one. It is much, much closer, so we will probably be doing that one. Um, oh, these these are, are new missions that we've received because we're near a comms array. Uh, Asconia is where we need to be, and we want to be at Umbra anyway, so this seems to be the best one for us to go to. Dare drop up there is fine. Yeah, let's let's go to Asconia first. We've got 36 days to complete. And this will get us pirate faction reputation, which is something we're trying to build up. Again, we're trying to be friends with the pirates. Uh, here's our combat result, by the way, of that big old battle of ours. We've got 
this is a really nice mod. Such a nice mod. Uh, retreated. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, the, not that many of them did go down, though, which I'm kind of impressed with. I'm not going to lie. Wani uh, Enders managed to solo three enemies and assist with four. Uh, we managed to assist with one. Uh, Trash Panda Panic managed to assist with two. And uh, most of our ships didn't do too much more. The uh, uh, Union ID managed to solo one. Road Train actually soloed one. Well done, Road Train. Boscaro assisted with one. Omega Jinx assisted with two. Talival assisted with one. Uh, Pixmo assisted with one. And then uh, MP Sao sadly went down. Much sad. Right, jump to hyperspace, please, and thanks. And kill comms. Scavengers heading out. I don't feel like uh, rolling with them right now. Welcome, uh, welcome back, Tudorsman. We will be serving that massive system, but that's right. That's kind of where we hope to head after I drop this off. It's just a timed quest. I'm going to drop it in. Uh, then we are going to be heading on. Because we've then got another quest up in that direction so we've actually got work to do in that look in that direction which is what we we're heading for we needed to top up on both Ooh, hello stealth who be you uh, okay that's fine we're trying to build up reputation with you let's burn uh ooh, what be this It is a Cerberus class combat freighter, which we could recover. Bearing in mind the Cerberus has a decent amount of cargo. Certainly replacing the hounds with Cerberuses is a good move, I believe. Consider ship recovery, all, bonk, leave, and promptly mothball it. That's actually not a bad one. That's legitimately not a bad one. We will mothball it for now, but that is genuinely not bad. Just because it's only got one demod. I believe I am starting to drift off. So time to lurk and then fall asleep to Avax's wonderful voice. Good night all. Take care, Malakin. Alright, who did we need to go to? Fulton is here. Let's uh, duck in there then. Transponder on. Now the question is whether I'm going to be able to do this whilst uh, broadcasting. This is my concern. I'm going to wait for you to pass. You just carry on your way. Then I'm going to stealth and move over. Okay, where are you going now? Pursuing pirates? Great. That's right. And perfect. Right, going dark. Should be able to talk with them now. And pomp. There we go. Uh, your fleet goes into orbit. No Sindri and Tic Tac patrols seem to be aware of you just yet. And you have a window of opportunity for doing business with parties untroubled by your lack of docking clearance. There we go. That's why we needed to be stealth for it. So there we are. We've gained three relationship. Our first pirate mission for today. Uh, Looking dapper. Let's open the comm directory, see if there's anything else going on. No. Let's go down to the bar. Got uh, a security officer and see what they're so pleased about. Talk to the man who ordered the cadet to apprehend you. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, I'm not looking. Uh, I'm not specifically looking for uh, cargo space. I'm looking for shielded cargo space. Unless the Atlas has a shielded cargo, if that's what you're saying, then that's great. But otherwise, no point. Uh, let's talk to the security officer. Wow, just today, an amazing opportunity fell into my lap, and yours as well. How wonderful! She sweeps her arms, uh, arm regally to encompass the scale of your shared luck. Somehow manages not to spill the drinks of several patrons. You are told the story of tiresome property seizures from disloyal elements. It's not so much trouble to, you know, play along, but then, uh, but they insist on carrying on and on. Uh, not that I mind the perks of the job, of course. <laughs> you are being the best <laughs> meal, Rizal. You almost made me choke on that, my lord. Uh, what this amounts to, you are told, is that the district for uh, Gandamir's evidence locker and maintenance bay and several interrogation rooms are filled with cases of cryostabilized of Volturnian lobster. Nearly 150 units in all. The officers eat like royalty, yes, but there's only so much one can take, and the coolant cells won't last another week without replacement. So, she turns to you. 9,000 will satisfy the district com commandant, as well as your new friend here, and the entire cargo can be transferred to your holds without bothering with tariffs. What do you say? Will you help, um, to help maintain a little law and order? Your fleet's hold can accommodate 1,144. Do we want blue lobsters? Sure. Decline the offer apologetically, citing a terrible shellfish allergy. No, we want blue lobsters. There we go. Uh, talk to the Admiral at the private table, who might now want some blue lobster. Please sit, Captain. I pre uh, Captain, I presume? She nods confidently at your assent. Perfect. Order something. Let's talk. She slides the data pad towards you. We have a surplus Eagle class cruiser in the dock. Perfectly good ship. Honorable service record. It'd be uh, a damned shame to simply scrap it. She meets your eyes with a steady gaze. Officer to officer. I could make it yours for 60,000 credits. A pristine eagle. A pristine eagle. Oh. For only 60k? Hmm. Malakin. Okay, I'm unlurking. <laughs> it didn't take much to bring you back. Yes, I will. And this has also improved uh, my relationship with the Sindrin Dictat by one, which is nice because I would like to actually pull that up. And it's agreed and done. Talk to the man who ordered the cadet to apprehend us. Captain... Epiticus Olympus, he says. My superiors recognize that your unique talents could serve our faction. There is no drink on the table and no invitation to sit. We need an agent extracted from the colony on Ankira. A flagged task force cannot do this due to political considerations. Our officer offer is 63,000 credits. The oppo may be expecting you. We have intel on the defenses. The man places a data pad on the table for your inspection. You quickly review the contents and estimate that you'll need around 150 marines to carry out the operation. <sighs> I'm not going to attack the hegemony. No, I decline. I'm on good good uh ground with the hedge money. I don't want to jeopardize that. Alright. I'll leave the bar. Well, we just got an opportunity. First and foremost, can I shed any of these? 36. No, that's still nowhere near good enough. Um, these I could shed, perhaps, for, for 10 per unit. Well, not as great as I could. I can get a lot of money for these, but this is this is above board. Um, I can only sell on the black market right now. Uh, that's 82 per... 67 per... So, no. Very much no, actually. Uh, why can I sell those for stupid money?
That's actually not too bad. And I could buy them for 82 there as well. I mean, if I'm going to take them somewhere. Uh, I can't sell to you. So realistically, it would have to be you at uh, Magic. None of them are in the direction I want to go, which is the pain. Ultimately, I got them for free, so it doesn't really matter. And I don't feel like going on a big old trip to, to shed those. So fine, I'll take 51k for it. These, at least, are in the direction I want to go. And it's for the right amount, so I'm actually going to buy more. Is there anything else I want to grab? I could top up my supplies if I wanted to, but there's not the, really the best price there. Uh, I think that's fine. Right, let's have a look at these ships then. We have got a beautiful ship that we now need to properly equip. Let's pop you right there. Okay then. I have no really good idea of, of what this ship is like. Eagle class cruisers are often found at the core of a military fleets headed for battle. It is not hard to see why. A strong overall overall profile with a robust engine, the Eagle's deadly weapons package is a threat to all enemies. The Eagle can deliver a strong tactical punch to enemy formations. Its numerous turrets and hard points placements make it a very dangerous uh, make it very dangerous to smaller foes. Decent armor and a strong shield emitter let it hold space while outnumbered, or even when faced with a, the rare larger ship. These strengths are somewhat countered by strike craft. An eagle captain must always watch their scopes for an approaching strike squadron, since their ship will be easy, easily crippled by multiple hits from modern strike weapons. The embodiment of the sleek and powerful space cruiser from the time of the domain, the eagle class ships are a beautiful reminder of the technological and aesthetic achievements of humanity's past. All right. Um, couple of things here. Did any of them get a decent improvement? I think we'll actually get this one pulled out as well. It's only got damaged weapon mounts, which is fine. We don't care for about that. We can have that service there, and we can shed one of the hounds in exchange, I think. Why is HMS Moon Moon worth so much less? Other than because it's Moon Moon. I don't even... All right, let's get this fitted then. Now, uh, as for missiles, okay, let's have a proper look. We've got three mediums, three mediums, a bunch of smalls. These look like the best things for point defense, I would say. Really, is that all I've got? Oh, wow, that sucks. Uh, I mean, <laughs> damn it. All right, what about these? Pulse lasers, ion pulser. I could get two ion pulses on it. For suppression, they've got... Uh, I mean, it's okay. An okay range, but they're very expensive to, to field. Um... I've only got one ion cannon here. Well, I'll pop that one in there. I, you know, I've got it available to me, so I may as well. Uh, as for the medium slots here, um, two flat cannons. We've got two heavy mortars. Nice ranges on them. And we've got one arbalast cannon. I could roll with one arbalast and two heavy mortars. Hmm... I would very much like to get these more for point defense, really, and, and maybe these for, for ions, I'm not sure. But uh, as far as this goes, uh, Harpoon, MRM, 
Sabo, I really would love some. Oh, Sabo S uh, SRMs. I really like Sabos. I really like Sabos. So I'll roll with that first. Uh, how big is the shield on this, actually? Uh, shield arc is 270. I could possibly improve that. I mean, right now I could just throw on two ion pulses. Just for shiggles. The pulse laser there, because I don't have better things to put on it right now. Um, the Arblast auto cannon. it's an anti-shield weapon. Then we've got anti-armor weapons. I don't think I want flat cannons on this. Though, that being said, you know, it was... Ah, uh, no, because these have to point forward. So, the, the, you know, putting... Uh, putting anything else on it is kind of uh, pointless. And I guess I could put two mining lasers just for the time being in those slots. Just so that we've got something there. If you're looking for shield and cargo, Pirate Buffalo has them, if you can find one. I don't know how much capacity it has. So I'll keep uh, an eye out for that, sir. So I have definitely seen them. Uh, I won't bother the mining laser there, though. All right, let's have a look. First and indeed foremost, let's have a check of how fast you move. You've got a maximum burn of eight. I could give you some other options here if I really wanted to. I'm not sure I do yet, though. Uh, you are a big ship, so efficiency on you is very nice. Dropping maintenance supplies down by 25%. Uh, sorry, by 20% and crew down by 20% because we currently need 150 crew. We'd also pull down the cost of fuel. So, yeah, efficiency overrides straight away. That's 30 less crew we need on this. And 13 supplies per month have dropped. That's a big saving. Kind of a crazy saving. Uh, which is the... I mean, we could have the augmented dry field so it can be a little bit faster. I'm not sure we need it, though. Hardened subsystems increase peak operating time for ships that suffer degraded performance from extended deployment time by 50%. Also reduce the rate at which combat readiness degrades. That's a maybe, but on a ship like this, I'm not sure about it. Uh, increase the turn rate of all turrets. Increases the range of ballistic and energy weapons by 35 to 50% for cruisers. So, by 35% for us. Cannot be installed on a frigate or a destroyer. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, will not work in conjunction with the integrated targeting system. Do we even have the integrated targeting system? I don't think we do. No. So, let's get that in there. There would be a vet of variety if we stopped by Syndra. Yeah, no, that's that's very true. And we will absolutely take care of that. But I'm not sure if I really want the augmented drive button. Does does a ship's burn speed? Because we're we're hobbled by this. This has a burn speed of seven. So even if I make this faster, can't move faster than, than this ship anyway. But does the burn speed have any other impact? Like, does having a better burn speed help in combat in any way? If it does, then I might may well go for it. Heavy armor increases the ship's armor points, depending on hull size. Also reduces the maneuverability. Yeah, it doesn't help in combat. Yeah, that's the problem there. Uh, good night, Lahido. You have a good sleep, mate. Take care. Uh, increase the ship's hull integrity. All right, let's let's beef up all of its stats here. Let's see what else we can pop on here. 
I could... Actually, how high can I take that? Actually, I can only take it to 30 anyway. Increases the durability of the ship's engines by 100% and the ship's hull integrity by 10%. The ship's center profile is also reduced by 50%. Yeah, I think I think of all of them, insulated engine assembly is probably going to be the better one for me. I don't think the turret gyros is really going to help with this ship. Because it's more of a shoot in the direction it's pointing kind of ship. Um, increase the durability of all weapons by 100% and reduce recall by 25, but decreases weapon turn rate. I'm not sure that's a good one. No, I think we're going to go with the insulated engine assembly. And there we go. That is a sexy, sexy ship. Also, who that? Who did the thing? Sir Alasol, yes, burn speed has a combat effect. Your ship catches fire far easier and burns much faster. <laughs> I can't be mad at you for that because you da patrolled in a tip. Well played. Well played. Okay. Again, this is going to be an efficient cruiser. But we are going to need to set this up with weapon groups. The uh, These are managed, and I think that's fine. They're pointing wherever they're going. Everything else, uh, well, actually, maybe that one shouldn't be. Um, well, maybe at the same time is fine. Yeah, keep those there linked. Those linked. Pulse laser shouldn't be linked. These are alternating. No, that's linked. Alternating. All right. I think that's fine. Confirm. And let us get a name for this beautiful, beautiful vessel. Nightbot. We need a new keyword. Hashtag. Birdie. Type her in chat if you want to be in with a chance to get in with a name in game. We've still got three names in game already prepaid for. Because the Dapplings are not just generous in gift subs, they are also generous with names in game. Whether it be Dapper Ducats or Real Ducats, the Dapplings are a generous lot. Autonomy, thank you very much for the resub they made for 14 months. Uh, Thermachius, thank you very much for seven months. And Trenton for 14 as well. Ah, I like that. 14, 14, and 7. Okay, who is going to be Purdy? It is going to be Platinum Toast. Well done, Platinum Toast. I wish I could uh, move around in the text box, but I have to. I, the only way I can move around is by deleting everything that's already gone. But there we are. We're going to need to get you an officer. You're aggressive. Uh, I want aggressive people. Mm. Actually, yeah, I kind of want all of the aggressive people. Uh, this venture, you've got a steady pilot and you've got a steady pilot there. And I'm actually okay with these because these are more stay at the back and, and shoot long range. But... Uh, what have we got here? Combat endurance plus 60 seconds of peak combat time plus 20%, uh, 25% combat readiness degradation plus 15% maximum combat readiness. Uh, energy weapons deal up to 30% damage at close range based on firing ship's flux. Over here, we've got plus 50% maneuverability plus 10% top speed. I think, I think we're going to switch you out. Yeah. There you go. Dunk. I am very happy with that lineup now. Very happy indeed. And I get a pilot, a majestic bird with a pilot. Best of days, indeed. <laughs> Verily. But that does mean that we've only got one pilot in our wolf pack now, which is kind of a kind of a, a sucky position to be in. Um all right, let's unmothball you. And let's also refit you. I would like you to be refit to the efficient version, conform. Tonk. 
Well, let's make sure the others are more or less equipped similarly. They're not really, but we'll see what we can do once we get back to the... Uh, Back to Umbra. Okay, we need one Hamoha name. This time, it shall be... What I just typed in chat. <laughs> Look! Okay, I'm just calling it as I sees it. Belial rocks. Uh, Belial does rock. Yeah, it's true. Look, this this is the ugly duckling of the Cerberuses. <laughs> We're voting for the Cerberus revenge. Hey, that's my email password. <laughs> ah, fantastic. All right, let's find out who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be winning the ugly raffle. Greater Texan Union. There we go. A dubious honor, to be certain. Greater Texan Union. There we are. Right, let's get you in position. Let's slide you all the way up there. Donk, donk. There we are. Should we now get rid of one of the hounds? Uh, I kind of think we should. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so stripping the HRMS uh, Pixmau. Sadly. Uh, oh. Pixmau is the weakest link. Mm, goodbye. I would have gotten rid of Moon Moon, but it's Moon Moon, okay? One does not simply get rid of Moon Moon. Let's see if that helped at all. It kind of didn't, actually. All right. Well, that's good enough. All right. We need... Can I not repair? I guess not. Okay. All right. Leave. And we're going to slip back in here, and then we're going to pop our transponder back on. And there we go. Nothing untoward was going on. No, no, no. We are very law-abiding us, yes. Hello. Looking dapper. <laughs> Yay, you just got your one fault re repaired. Happiest days. And let's see what we got here. Sure. 84%. We lost four heavy machinery. That's actually quite a bit of a loss. I'm not going to lie. All right. Where are we going then? Uh, Umbra seems to be the best place for us to go. Is there anything in our cargo hold that I want to drop off at Syndra? I don't believe so. And Umbra is where I've got all of my gear. So, Umbra it is. Rebek, will you strip the weapons off your mothball chips? Uh, oh, you can't repair when you're running silent. Okay, good to Good to know. Right. Dropping my transponder. Let's get in there. Do a little bit of... A uh, little bit of... Trading. Then we'll be on our way. Don't even think about it. You thought about it. And you did it, too. You scoundrel. Right. First and indeed foremost. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, well, they're fine. Uh, they're actually... There's an excess of marines here, too. Firstly, though, I want to drop off all of the weapons. Uh, black market, sell that. Confirm. Now these, again, Hibrasil is a good place for us to take those. 
Uh, for these ones, though, yeah, Hibrasil is also a good one. It's not nearly as good as Eldfell, but... Uh, they're the same distance, but in different directions. Most frustrating. Is maybe... Is there anything in Eldfell as well? No. Well, I'm going to Hibrasil, so that's where we're going to sell these. I'll still get twice as much for it, so that's fine. Now, let's jump in and see if we can't do a little bit more of a refit here. So, first and foremost, I've got a lot of materials here. Got heavy needlers with range 700, heavy auto cannons, thumpers.